So I am officially alone in Colombia. It is day two, and I already don't know what to do with myself, really. Um, I've been on the Caribbean coast of Colombia for like over a week now, so I've kind of done most of what I want to do. So Wooby's in Bogota right now, and on a whim last night at like midnight, I was like, I'll just book a $30 flight to Bogota, it'll be funny. Um, we can have a little Bogota meetup, even though I've already been there. So I booked my flight, and then I was laying down to go to sleep, and I got an email saying my flight was boarding in three hours, because I booked it for 3 a.m., not 3 p.m. Everyone look out for that military time, it gets you. This is my room, here's my bed. I actually had this room all to myself last night, which was lit, and it's air conditioning from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., so it's like the best thing ever. And it's not that I don't know how to travel alone, because obviously I've done that before, but for the past, whatever, three months, over three months, I've been with at least one other person, maximum like 20 other people living in a house, so it's like, I don't know, I need to get back into my groove of meeting people in hostels and doing that whole thing, because when you're with a group of people already, I don't know, I don't feel the need to reach out to new people, and also, if we make friends, we all make friends together as a group, so... Especially like I have my room alone here, so it's like, I don't know, I need to get out there and get back into my groove of being social. <laughs> I'm now walking to the beach. It's about a mile away from my hostel, so yeah, I'll be there in like 20 minutes. So I'm taking a little pit stop along the way, mainly just to get some AC for a minute because it is so hot, but also I'm curious to see what the bathing suit selection is because mine is like brown and has sand all in it and is very crusty because I only brought one traveling so I've been wearing it essentially every day for three months. Couldn't find any swimsuits there so I'm gonna keep walking to the beach. Shout out to Amy for leaving me her beach towel behind because someone stole my towel and I had no beach towel and this is great. So one of my goals before I came to South America was to study Spanish, and I have not been doing that at all. Like, I literally did it, well, I did it yesterday for a while, like over an hour, but before that, literally not at all. And I, like, I'm talking to people and practicing in that way and listening. I'm got, I've gotten a lot better at listening and speaking, but I forgot, like, everything I learned in high school. Like, all my grammar stuff, a bunch of vocabulary, whatever, which is annoying. Anyway, so I have this last week alone, and my goal is to do at least 10 hours of studying in six days. So like an hour to an hour and a half each day. Yesterday I did like an hour and 15 minutes plus talking to people. So I'd round up to like an hour and a half. I don't know, I'm trying to make this whole like study thing for myself where I do like a little bit of listening, reading, writing and speaking every day. And I haven't done like studying stuff in so long. So yesterday doing an hour and 15 minutes was literally mentally exhausting. Like I have not traditionally like studied stuff in a year probably since I graduated. So. Trying to get back on track with that, and I think it'll make a difference if I just if I do that much of it a day and I'm immersed in it. I think it will be a good refresher for me. So I downloaded a Spanish book on my phone, and I'm gonna read it. And it has the translated version, and I'm gonna like write down all the stuff I don't know in my Spanish notebook. So I'll do that for maybe an hour, and then I'll probably do another hour later today of like listening to podcasts or doing like vocabulary and grammar work. So constantly on the beaches here, there are women trying to give me braids and trying to give people massages. Just like walking around with a spray bottle of something and like offering massages. And it's very annoying, I hate it. And when we were in a big group on the beach, I think we were maybe more intimidating, so it wasn't as big of a deal. That's really loud. But now that I was alone today and yesterday on the beach, it's literally, I'm not even kidding, every five minutes. And I'm like, no gracias, no gracias. And they do not take no for an answer. And they're like, why, why, why? And like touching my arm, trying to start a massage. And I'm like, get off of me. It's so annoying. It's actually so annoying. Cause I'm like, if I say no, then that's fine. And then if they don't leave me alone and then trying to braid my hair and trying to give me such after I already said no, I'm like, please don't touch me. <laughs> So, this is Max. I made a friend. <laughs> we hung out at the beach all day today. Yes, we did. And, oh, nice one. <laughs> and then we tried to go, the music is so loud, this is awkward. <laughs> um, 
We tried to go to one beach, but it's an hour away, so now we're just near our hostel hanging out. And this girl ruined my flip flop. Oh yeah, and I broke his shoes he earlier, did. so he is. We are walking like he was like walking in glass on the way here. I'm back to the beach for the third time today, and it is insanely crowded. It is. So we got some braids. Uh, we didn't really want them, but... <laughs> got them anyways. Yep. And then I paid the lady just to be nice, and then she was talking to us for about... Solid 15 Ten minutes. 10, minutes. 15, Amazing yeah. conversation. Like, we talked contact lenses for like half an hour. We talked contact lenses for the yeah. entire time. Yeah. We're in the presence of a rap god. We are. They're like filming a music video. It's so awkward and weird in front of this wall, like in the middle of the restaurant. 